have fun, but do it safely. Where there is water, there is risk. While Calgarians are enjoying the summer doing water activities like boating, rafting, and even swimming, the Calgary Fire Department says they are busy responding to a high volume of water safety calls, dealing with over 50 such calls in July alone. Typically, it's people that have fallen out of their craft or they're stuck against bridge abutments or they are stuck on an island because their raft deflated or somewhere along the shore where they can't get to where they need to go. Henke says during this hot spell, fire department boats will patrol rivers regularly, but she also urges Calgarians to check the water levels and the current before they go in the water, buy proper boating equipment and always wear a life jacket. Something most Calgarians agreed on, but may not always follow. Water safety is very important, and that's why I wear a um, life jacket. I trust that I can swim, and I don't go anywhere like too sketchy, like the rapids. Life jackets, first of all, and uh, just keeping an eye on the kids. I make sure that they, they wear life jackets, and uh, the little ones are always with someone, someone I trust. Always surf or play with your friends, like always have somebody looking out for you and look out for each other, so don't do it alone is kind of a big part of it. While the Calgary Fire Department has conducted multiple water rescue operations in the last few days, they warn if you see someone in trouble in the water, do not jump in if you're not trained in water rescue. Well, call 911 immediately and if you can reach them with something, you can throw something to them or reach them with a branch or a rope or something, then pull them in. We don't want people putting themselves at risk. It's swift water and a lot of people maybe don't quite understand the strength of swift water when you're caught in the current. Henke encourages Calgarians to check out the City of Calgary water safety webpage for more details. In Calgary, Hena Said, City News.